Hello, this is Marikar from papergoodness.com and welcome to another watercolor video. Today I'm going to talk about palettes. Um, if you enjoy makeup and have watched makeup videos on YouTube, you might have heard of a challenge called Pan That Palette. Now if you don't, even if you don't enjoy makeup, I hope you'll stay, stay around and watch the rest of this video because today I'm going to start uh, something I call the Pan That Watercolor Palette Challenge. Now in the makeup world, pan that, panning that palette means you commit to using a single palette or a set of makeup until you literally hit the bottom of the pan so that it shows the, you know, you can see the, the shimmer of the metal, metal pan at the bottom. And some people actually go the distance of using up all of their makeup. So their goal in panning their palette is to completely use it up so that you have an empty makeup palette. So I thought of doing the same thing with my watercolors. Um, it's a great way to challenge myself to use up the supplies that I have. And well, it, it saves money, obviously. And it's also it also gives me a chance to really get to know watercolors and to practice and not just collect supplies. And I've actually um, successfully panned this palette. This is my first one. This is a Winsor & Newton Cotman and um, it is mostly used up. See, it's very clean. I have used these. Uh, you can see this is the sap green. This is the, they're all labeled on the side and this is the sap green half pan. Now the rest of these are, I think this is intense blue. This is the emerald green which is their viridian hue. And this is actually something that's, that wasn't in the original palette. I didn't use, uh, white came with this palette but I don't use white so I took that out and replaced it with Hooker's Green. This is an artist grade palette from Winsor Newton. So these are the only three that are left in this palette. And I really do plan to use up the rest of these eventually. But I will show you that because I have um, finished that off. But I will start panning this particular palette. This is a Schmincke. This is a limited edition uh, palette that I got and this has chrome yellow, chrome yellow lemon, Indian yellow, titanium gold ochre, helio turquoise, helio blue reddish, dark blue indigo, uh, madder red dark, magenta, scarlet red, madder brown, helio green, and walnut brown. So this is the palette that I am going to challenge myself to hit pan on. So I will uh, do a video. I'm planning on every month or thereabouts. I will show a video showing you. I will do a video showing you my progress. So for now, you can see that I've already used up, or not used up, but used some of this palette. I've made up some. Um, charts, why my mixing charts, charts, and I have also painted this um, little picture here using just these colors. This is um, a page from a coloring book that I have traced, and tracing actually allows me to practice my watercolors without stressing out too much about my drawing skills. So this is a lot of fun and a take on, you know, a different take on the coloring book. Um, fun stuff that happens. So I will just show you these every month and give you an update. Now if you'd like to join me um, you know, I would really love it if uh, people would also give updates on how they are um, panning their watercolor palettes. 
so that we can all just really enjoy these wonderful colors that we collect. So I will see you next time with a bit more progress on this uh, Schmincke watercolor palette in a uh, limited edition. And I will actually post a link down in the description to um, show you, to let you know where to get it. Now this is not your regular basic palette, but I have found that it's a really good selection. I don't know if I'll get the same colors again once I run out, but it's a great introduction to the Schmincke watercolors. And as you can see here, it will actually give you a very nice um, mixing palette as well. You have your browns and grays. You have a nice walnut brown. You can make up your grays and blacks there. So you can do a lot with this palette. So, and if you really like the Schmincke pans, this would be a good way to get that too. So I eventually will um, reuse the pan once I used up the watercolors. But that is the goal, to use this and this one, the three, so that I'll have a nice clean palette to show you. I don't know how long it will take me, maybe a year, but you will see, you will see my progress in um, other videos of the Panda Watercolor Palette Challenge. So thank you for watching. I hope you have a great day. Bye-bye.